Kuya Safari, it's your girl Kitty. So I'm with Jessa and Kuya Kyle. So. <laughs> different markets and they they have they render service to people uh differently ba so ang atuwa lang is the regulation itself 
Boy, naka problema din ha. That's the main problem kay they say this kabalabal is not regulated and then there's another thing na DILG's directive na to stop tricycles flying within the highway. So for now, we are okay that it's there because they like, like I've said, they cater to different people. They render service to different people. Yeah, and it, at, and we can see that they really have, uh, they really uh, help the people come to other places to another. Yeah, to make life easier for yeah. each and every one. How about the leisure and creation? Yeah, this one. Cebu Safari and Adventure Park. And then, we don't really, Carmen is a place which caters a lot, a lot of like people who loves Maligo, ligo ba? Like out there. <laughs> yeah. It's not really on the beaches, but we have a pools. Pool, pools. Then we have two yeah. springs, yeah. Uh, three springs Church, actually, yeah. and then churches, and then what else? Mountain trekking. Yeah, mountain. trekking, mountain bikings, and then we have uh, enthusiasts, like running enthusiasts. So it's a really, it's a Karma is a really good place to have some good activities. Well. So, last one is about its crime and nuisance. Our crime rate is quite lower than others. I mean, wala man kayo, like, kanabi tong patay dali patay dito. We have less than that. And then, with other crimes, crime related, it's just really minimum ba. Gamay lang yun siya. Accidents lang we have, but yeah. it's, it's not that really. Na agitay something there in here. So when we we are here in the other part of our interview, so so this is about Cebu Safari and Adventure Park. As we all know, many people, even foreigners, come here to see how beautiful CSAP is. What are your plans to make this more famous and known? No, just vlogs. Yeah. Vlogs. Vlogs and then <laughs> like what we are doing yeah. now. <laughs> Actually, I don't work. I, I'm not really employed here. I'm just really a fan of this project. And as a municipal councillor, it's my duty to be involved and then mm -hmm. help them grow as a institution. So I would like everyone, uh, especially Tayo Carmen, let's uh, let's promote this one. Okay, we can all benefit from this. Okay, it's really big and it will grow like. Five years, ten years from now, it's really, really good. So, second is how does our community and the people benefit from CSAP? Yeah, like what I've said, through transportation. Katosa, like before, gamay rata gabalabal, diba? So, people migrate, like they go out from our place, and then now it's just it's just tourism that makes a place grow. So, it's the number one. Kind of tourism capital now in the Philippines is like Cebu Safari and Adventure Park. So along it's along the highway, along the roads nga iyang magi and going through here, everyone's benefiting from that. Kay mo taas man imong traffic, food traffic like na a store dia or store something people will buy. Yeah. And it's already it's already complementing people from Carmen good. So lastly. What is your message to the people who haven't visited this place yet? Come! Come here! <laughs> come and join! Come and enjoy, enjoy the place! Enjoy the place! <laughs> and let's see each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice in here. So, that's it, Sir Kyle. Thank so, you so thank much. Thank you so much, Sir Kyle. Thanks, see you. Bye. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. So, bye! bye. See you for my next vlog. <laughs> Follow my channel. <laughs> Audio Jungle.
pulit ang grabe na nga nakaka na